All right, hey guys, how's it going? Um, how you guys been? It's kind of been a minute since I've seen y'all. Um, I'm gonna do a video today on the uh, all my collarbreds, do an update on them real fast before I start though. Well, here's Ka getting out. Um, real fast before I start, I uh, know I told you guys a little while back that me and my friend were gonna start a drum channel. Um, well, we finally kind of got it up and running. There, we got one video up. It's called Drummers Anonymous. Uh, I'll put a little link somewhere in here or something like that. Um, it's pretty cool though, we're pretty excited about it. The video up now is a guy from a metal band called Attila. Uh, they're actually a pretty big up and coming metal band. They're signed and touring around the country. Um, and then, so that's one video up, then we have one more that we've actually already filmed and recorded and it'll be up in about, hopefully in the next week, uh, and then we'll be doing a lot more. Um, but it's going to be all kinds of music. We're trying to get a bunch of different drummers to do it. And, uh, you know, just do a bunch of different stuff with it. So, if you like drums, even if you don't necessarily like the metal that the guy's playing, you know, just check it out and subscribe because there will be a lot of different stuff. Um, Alright, let's start with the uh, Brooks King Snake, which is a South Florida King Snake. You can see it's getting some really good size. It is always, always, always hungry. I'll grab it. Um, so here he is. He's cool. Uh, he doesn't bite, but he is so aggressive with food that if you stick your hand in there too fast, um, he will. Alright, I'll put him up. Um, next, we'll get out the hog nose. And uh, a little bit of bad news for anybody that's watching my other videos. Um, the adult male hognose that had the tail problem ended up passing away. Uh, which really sucks, but you know, me and the vet did all we could for it apart from surgery. Um, which I couldn't really afford after spending like $400 at the vet. So, uh, that really sucks. But I was about to, he just wasn't getting any better, so I was about to have him put to sleep anyway. Um, yeah, here is the uh, other male hog nose, which you can see is actually getting some pretty good size on it for a male, finally. Um, definitely going to be breeding this next upcoming season to the female. I mean, it doesn't show up too much, but it's got a good bit of red on it. It's definitely a red face. So I'm really interested in seeing what the babies will turn out like with him as the father. Um, moving on, next we'll do the, the adult female hog. He's doing great. As you can see, she just said not long ago, and her colors are looking really good. Really looking to prove her out and see what kind of morph she is, since no one seems to know. I mean, it looks like a hypo, but apparently it's not. It's still got the black belly, which hypos do not. Um, she's doing good. You can see she's got really good size on her for a hog. I mean, really nice. Uh, really going to try to get a few more of these at Repticon coming up. But also, yeah, if any of you guys are going to the Atlanta Repticon, I think it's like... July 9th and 10th or something like that. Um, if you guys want to meet up, feel free to hit me up and we'll meet up. Um, up here, we have the male king snake. Let's see here. Here he is. Doing pretty good, getting some size on him. Finally eating uh, hoppers and fuzz, or hoppers, yeah. Pretty good size, so should be bulking up soon. Um, and down here, under the water bowl, we have the uh, California Desert King Snake Cross. Um, it has been breeding with the California King Snake male, so hopefully soon. I haven't palpated it recently, but hopefully we will. Uh, I'll be getting some eggs from her soon. That would be great. Next, right here, we have a uh, Honduran milk snake that I got. Uh, off of Craigslist, which I'm actually selling. Um, if any of you guys, I've got a guy that's supposed to be buying off Craigslist, but he seems like he might be flaking out. If any of you guys would like to buy her um, or him, I'm sorry, I believe I probed it and I believe it's a him. It's kind of hard to probe because it's so squirmy. But let me know if you'd be interested in buying it. Uh, I'd probably sell it for like I don't know, 60 bucks plus shipping. Something like that. If you live around Georgia, you know, you can just come pick it up for 60 bucks. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. It doesn't bite, but it is very squirmy as it has not been held much. 
Um, then up here, last but not least, is the Florida King Snake. Um, very similar to the Brooks. The Brooks, like I said, is just South Florida. Sorry, I'm checking. I was hoping that she was going to lay eggs. She seemed gravid when I got her. But after having her, I don't think she is. You can see she's just really big for a king snake. Um, I guess she just doesn't really not want to be held right now. So I'm not going to get her out if she doesn't want to be messed with. You can see her back there though. She's really awesome. Um, anyway guys, so that's an update on the Colbert's. And uh, I should be doing a few more updates today. So keep watching. Um, like I said, please go check out Drummers Anonymous. I'm going to put the link up. Uh, should be really cool. Hope you then also with Drummers Anonymous, it's the very first video we did. So if you have any advice, um, not so much for the drummer. Uh, and I guess you could leave some advice to the drummer as well. But more so, um, if you're just having advice of how we can make it look better, please let us know because we're trying to learn. So, anyway, guys, uh, take it easy.